Welcome back everyone. This is in Blender. So in this one I have prepared something special for you guys and But first let's just you know make our windows full screen. I bet you didn't know this, but if you think you do check out this one so You go ahead and try and you have this bones with this whole naming system and everything But you want you know something to rename something like easily to make it you know from everything that is C to D or something. But first, let's just go ahead and, you know, use a simpler example for this one. So, I'll go back here and go to the object mode and select this one. Now, if I select this one, you see the name is H right there. So, I'll go right here, Control C, it's name. So, you want to rename this three together for something, you know, but you don't know. So, you just click Control F2 to find and rename, batch rename or anything. So if I click something like Control V its name, find H and change the name to something, random keyboard. Okay. Now if I hit OK and check the name, you get with a weird name to it. So if I go to the next one, which is going to be this one. So whenever you are rendering something and posting it on ArtStation, Instagram, whatever that is, and you want to have a clay render with it so instead of going to everywhere and you know changing this to a specific material which is going to be probably clay or something we're just going to be using one button to do it for us so which is going to be you go to the renders the viewport layer properties and you go here like which is i was playing with it right now so material override and you click here and you change it to whatever that is sword and anything now if i hit render everything is going to be that sort of material so you could just go ahead and add a new material which is like this and call it like clay and you know this is going to be the default one and go here change it to clay now if i render this i get everything which is going to be clay now if i go to the third one which is going to be tricky and cool for this one i'm going to be using this astronaut rig that i have made um you wonder sometimes, you know, you are doing uh, some, you know, something and let's just create a plane for this one. And you want to, uh, this to replace everything. Like here, if I go to the rig and go to the pose mode and you want to, you know, change this, this and this to this material. You know, the rig is, you want the rig to show this bone, uh, this plane. So this is super easy too. You just click Alt. Don't forget to click Alt and click the box right here. To change anything, it works with shaders, it works with materials. Just click it and I'll go plane, which is going to be the default name. If I hit this, everything gets changed to plane instead of going out manually to do everything. So I'll just control this, Z for this one, and show you the next one. So I'll just go in the pose mode. IK locks. This is something that lots of people don't know, which is like uh, whenever you are doing something like this, I'll go back for smoother playback. So whenever you're doing something like this, uh, it's often you know you add IK rigs for better controls. So like if I if we go here and these are some the background, so I'll just move these. And if I move this to here and change this IK, and you don't want this bone to be moving like sideways whenever you are rotate you are moving your IK so maybe if you want that you could just lock the IK and everything right here now if I move this this should not be moving okay I've selected the wrong bone now we have this so this should not be moving the IK lock like this if you lock it you'll never get any kind of movement from both of the bones like this okay sorry this is the bone right here if I lock this you could use this this is especially useful for you know um robotic stuff that is not going to be you know shown in the re preview and stuff you don't want the leg of something like moving weird ways or sideways like that so you could just you know go ahead and lock it but if you lock it using that one this is not going to be working for you guys so check this it's not going to be rotating in or anything this is perfectly sealed even though you move the ikea rig and the last thing I'm going to be telling you is something that I have wondered, but I've got, you know, a piece with it. What does this thing that is always in the bottom, that is custom properties, what does this do? 
and if you are wondering like me till now you'll get your piece right now so you see this thing which you get like cloud rig or anything that is related to this stuff blender uh, like blender uses like programmers use this custom stuff so they add it in the custom properties that's just like this if you change this this is the same value as this one if you go here and you get some kind of word script that you came with some rigs so thank you don't forget to like and subscribe bye guys